Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Batman! Last time, we returned back to the Forest of Hope one last time to snag the remaining missing ship part there. And we lost a lot, and I do mean a lot of reds to some really stupid Pikmin AI. In fact, those deaths are probably going to haunt me to the end of my days. Anyways, n now today on Pikmin, we are going to be returning back to the Force Naval because as you can see, there are a lot of missing ship parts there. And while we could go check out the Distant Spring, I really do want to just save that for its own like set of days. And I'd rather just focus on what I know instead of exploring something new. So let's head on back down to the Force Naval and get this show on the road. Plus, you know, I just want to hear that acoustic guitar again. I'm a sucker for it. Alright, uh, to start this off, I want to get a battalion of, let's say, 60 reds. Let's get ourselves around 30 blues. Uh, actually, 35 blues. And just give those couple of reds a concussion, and we're going to make our remaining one Pikmin a yellow. Am I missing a lot of Pikmin? There's a lot of blues stuck in the water over there. And yeah, it's just blues. Alright, well, in that case, uh, let's put you guys back then. Since we already have some blues out that we can just... Uh, Reacquire and let's get uh, those extra yellows back out because I do need to get me some bomb rocks. All right, and it looks like everybody's a flower, so that's pretty cool. Guys, seriously, I don't need that right now. What I need is for you guys to focus. All right, so for the time being. Let's dismiss, dismiss you guys, and let's go pluck out some blues. I don't know where these guys came from. I guess I just missed them when the blue onion was over here. That's the only thing I could think of. Oh, well. It's not like I lost these guys or anything. In fact, they, it's probably best that they stayed there. Wait, what? Did I miscount my pick? Uh, you know what? I think it was I, I pulled yellows out. Wait. One, two, three, four... Did some Pikmin die while my back was turned or something? Because I do not see... I feel like I should have a lot more yellows in this. Did, did it uh, alert the Shearwigs and they got snatched up or something? Ah, oh, well, whatever. Speaking of Shearwigs, let's just take these guys out proper this time. Come on, come on, take them out, take them out, take them out. And once again, lost another Pikmin. You know what? You guys can take those Shearwigs back to replenish your numbers. Where are you going? Come on. And let's have the Reds attack these things. These are fiery blowhogs. They are kind of jerks. They refire, as their name would say, and if you send Reds after them, well, they're completely harmless. The, the worst thing about them if you attack them with Reds is every time they throw the Reds off, they have a chance of deflowering them. So it'll knock them down to buzz and then knock them down into... Ooh, no, 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 into the water, into the water, get out of the water right now. Yeah, it's best if you're going to attack them with... Oh, God. Come on, guys, come on, guys. Come on, get out of the water, get out of the water, ow. A little more, and... Okay, listen here. Attack them from behind. There we go. Yeah, you need to be careful if you attack them near the pool of water over here because there is a chance that they can get thrown into it. I've yet made yet another Pikmin relay discovery when I was about to exceed 100 Pikmin in the field. The onion stopped it. Wait, I thought I already got this back at the impact site. What is going on here? Huh. Okay then. Yeah, be careful if you're going to attack them by the water with your reds because while the reds are immune to their main uh, method of attack, they can still drown if you're not paying attention. Go, attack, consume. Uh oh, I hear riveting. I see something waddling over in that water over there. That 
is a very jerkish en enemy. Yeah, this game just full of- uh oh 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 run boys! I think he got one. No, he didn't! Uh, that's a Wallywog. That is a very, very jerkish enemy. What he does is he hops up into the air and then crashes down on your Pikmin. And he can kill up to eight Pikmin at once. You can actually stop him from killing Pikmin like that by uh, weighing him down with all the other Pikmin. Yeah, great. And one of the worst things about him is if you have Pikmin attacking him and manage to kill him while he is up in the air, he still will uh, come crashing down onto the ground and killing any Pikmin before he just flops over dead. Wallywogs are considered to be one of the worst enemies in this entire series. Everybody who is anybody who plays this game hates them, and honestly, I'm one of them, but I don't hate them to the degree that some others do. Just finish off this bullet hog real quick. Go, go, attack my sons. What are you guys standing here for? Attack. All right. Uh, looks like we lost around four Pikmin to the Wallywog. I think one might have drowned when a Blowhog threw him into the water. I think it takes ten Pikmin? Seven. Alright, you can work on that. Let's get you guys over here. Actually, no, that's a black wall. Now get out of the water! There we go. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy to throw Pikmin over against the wall over here. Ooh, that could be bad. Okay, no, there's a wall over there. I was gonna say, uh, there, there is actually a bottomless pit over there that, uh, it, I think he could have thrown him in there, but thankfully I was wrong in that there's just a, a wall sitting over here. I think the bottom, yeah, the bottomless pit's right over there. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Alright, you guys start working on getting these guys back, because your numbers have been taking a nosedive quite a bit since we, uh, came back from the Force of Hope. Get you guys up here and get you working on building this bridge. I can't get you guys up there because I think they're just... Yeah, I need yellows for that one. Alright, well, what can I do? I always wonder what this uh, patch right here is. I want to guess that the, that's the bread bug's, like, nest or something. I never see anything over there, though, so I honestly have no idea what that little, like, patch of leafing is. Guys, just yeah, just focus on getting that. And you guys work on that. Uh, can't pull one of you. Nope. You guys do that. You guys carry this pig back. There we go. All right. Now while you guys are carrying all those back, I want to go and get my blues. And I guess I can also grab what little yellows that I have with me, and we'll throw the yellows up there to start making very, very slow progress on that bridge so we can get a decent amount of bomb rocks, but also uh, get that shipwreck that's up there. Oh, I think the yellows help carry back some of the sheer wigs. Alright, fine, whatever. Let's just get our blues into the water and have to deal with a couple more wallywogs. But sitting way back here in the water behind this bottle is yet another ship part. I'm just gonna have to take care of this jerk real quick. Run, run, run it! Yeah, you got one. I like how there's that, that one pick me just standing out like, hey, where'd you guys go? Uh, oh, 10 Pikmin! Yeah, yeah, okay, you can kill more than 7 Pikmin. My god. We lost a lot of blue. Holy hell, we did lose a lot of blues with that one. It's, it's the anti-dioxin filter. It fits over the rocket's exhaust ports and filters out the disease-causing agents from the ship's exhaust. That means I'll be able to move around without polluting the planet's atmosphere. I feel world's better. You know, this very dangerous and poisonous atmosphere, and we didn't even have enough Pikmin to start with this. All right, well, you know what, we'll come... Uh, he's just gonna keep hounding us this entire time, isn't he? Yep, all right. Uh, let's see if he can hop away and we'll just take his friend's body back to the ship. That's right, hop on back. All right. 
You guys focus on carrying that back. I'm going to start making my way back up to the ship itself and... Okay, Yellow, you come with me. Probably should also get healed up. I would like to at least get one ship part before the day's over. Yep, Yellow's helped carry some of the stuff back. And then we're going to send the Reds back into the ship while we just get the remainder of the Pikmin that will replace the Reds being yellows. And the blue. And uh, yeah, we probably should get some more blues while we're at it as well. I'll just leave you guys planted into the ground for now. And... Excuse me! You're supposed to be going back into your onion, thank you very much. Get in there. Let's get... Let's pull out 40 yellows. And we'll just make the remaining Pikmin in here blues. Which is just enough blues to pull out to get that chip part. Guys, I don't need to worry about Nectar right now. I want to get at least one ship part before the day is over, and the day is already half over. Alright, you guys head on up here. Guys, come on. Hey, you say something for the rest of us? Alright, we're just one blue short. Of course we are. Alright, well, at least we can focus on these guys uh, taking care of the Wally Wog over there. That way he doesn't harass our blues when they inevitably go for that ship part. And hey, if we kill him now, then if we have to come back tomorrow for that ship part, we won't have to worry about him killing any more blues. Like that. hate fighting Marlowe. There's usually, like, no good way to fight them. Oh, God. Look at all those poor ghosts. How many blues did we lose to that guy? Jeez. Alright, you guys carry that back. Get your numbers up. And from the sounds of that, yep, you guys finish the bridge. Nice job, gents. I found my gravity jumper. By manipulating the forces of gravity, this key component gives me the final boost I need to make the jump to a super light speed. Good thing I found it. It just, it pulls back on the spring and then just springs himself up and that's just how he makes that uh, jump to light speed. You guys work on getting this bridge built so we can have an easy access to all these lovely bomb rocks here. This is actually one of like, the biggest deposits of bomb rocks. Not only in the Force Naval, but also I believe in the entire game. So it's very lucrative to try and get this area unlocked on like day one or two of reaching the Naval. Alright, how's... Okay, it looks like you guys are carrying those stuff back. A couple Pikmin uh, back at camp. There's two parts up there. There's the gravity jumper right there. There's the ship part over there. And then there's the two over there. So probably not my most successful day here on the planet. But hey, at least we're making little progress. This is one of the reasons why I don't like the Force Naval. It's just that the layout, it takes a couple days for you to actually get like a good layout and get uh, good pathways going for your Pikmin. But once you get it going, then it's usually good. Guys, are you going to actually help out, or are you just going to keep pushing it? Come on, I don't pay you. Just stand around and do nothing. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. Alright, guys. See if we can get this close to base. Alright, 39. You can move all you want. Yeah, I think we might be able to get that back to camp before... Ooh, maybe. We're gonna see how close we can get get it back to base camp. And I guess while we do that, uh, I can take you. And we'll just, uh, just damage this wall for the next day. Alright. Uh, where is everybody? guys doing? Why were you going one way and then decided to backtrack and go another way? You do realize we're on a time limit here, folks. Uh oh I don't think they're gonna be able to make it back in time. Alright, everybody just pitch in. See how close we can get this back to base camp. No, do not get left behind. guys with me. Okay, thank God. I think that's all. Th I hope that's all of them. It looks like a... Uh, yeah, I think that's all the yellows that we had. I got scared for a second and be like, oh God, did it not register that the whistle called them back before the timer uh, stopped? Not today, Wally Wog. You're not killing anymore, my Pikmin. That was the one survivor that was going to come back for revenge for killing all his brothers. Eight days since impact. The Pikmin always carry their prey back to the onions. Close observation indicates that taking food pellets to the onions of the same color results in the release of larger numbers of Pikmin seeds. I've also found ways to group Pikmin by color. I can hold A and grab one for a moment, or I can press X to dismiss them all. I really do need to work on keeping Pikmin losses to a minimum. Because, geez, that, that was honestly probably one of my worst days so far. We lost a lot of blues with that one. Holy hell. Got a fair decent number of reds, but, man, we definitely need to get our blue numbers back up, especially after the mass loss of them today. All right, well, this was more of a cleanup day than it was actual progress today, but hey, we got a ship park close to base camp, and we've got a easy access to bomb rocks, and most of the threats around the lower section of the Force Naval are taken care of. So, next time on Pikmin, we're going to return back to the Force Naval and hopefully actually get some actual ship parts this time. See you guys next time. Later.